Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alejandro Lopez, Chief of Surgeons here in Aedo Bariatrics. We are following the steps of the surgery. The first one is to remove all the elements that is around to the stomach, that is included the epiploic uh, fat tissues and uh, the short vessels of the spleen. After we remove all these elements that is around to the stomach, we have the stomach free to can cut and pass the bujia to calibrate the gastric sleeve as we start the process to cut at the end of the staple line. So we can see the staple line that is an automatic staple. After we complete the staple line, we can start the reinforced line with the stitches. These stitches is not absorbable. The function of this reinforced line is to prevent leaks and prevent bleeding. So it's very important to do it correctly. And probably at the end of the surgery, you can see how is the size of the lung of the stomach that is symmetrical in all the gastric sleeve. And before end with the surgery, we need to know that the patient don't have any hiatal hernias. It's very important in all the gastric sleeve patients review that they don't have any hiatal hernias because this muscle works like a sphincter to prevent acid reflux. So as we see in this patient, the hiatal hernia, we proceed to close it with non-absorbable stitches as well. When we done this step, we use double check that we don't have any bleeding, any other issues, and we remove the piece of the stomach that we cut that we will remove the, that is the fundus, approximately 70 to 80 percent of the total stomach that we will remove. As we remove the stomach, we proceed to close the incisions and end the surgery.